Army. We're in Colonial Williamsburg. <laughs> We're at the Williamsburg Inn. So we're at Colonial Williamsburg and we're staying in a Colonial house for our anniversary. So let's walk over to it and we'll show you what it's like to stay in a Colonial house. to get to your colonial house when you stay at a colonial house in Colonial Williamsburg, you have to go to the uh, Williamsburg Inn. So our house happens to be right down the road from it. We were able to just drive in, you go into the lobby and you check in there. Um, you won't park there because there's parking available at these colonial houses, but they give you a really awesome coupon book with lots of coupons in there. So make sure you check in first. But here's our house. Colonial Williamsburg, all houses have little placards that kind of give you the history of the house and if it's an original or reconstruction. So this is where we're staying, the Lewis house. Charles Lewis is believed to have owned this property from 1785 to 1806. And exterior portions of the lower chimney brickwork are believed to remain from the time of his occupancy. Let's go inside. A nice little living room area which I got roses and champagne thank you Scott and through here is the master bedroom so it has one big king-size bed it's probably queen-size bed in there and then there is a ensuite but this is the little kitchen it doesn't look like there's any burners but there's a microwave and a coffee machine so they serve breakfast here uh, at the Williamsburg Inn so you saw how close we were. So that's, you'll just have to walk out in the morning and go have breakfast over there if it's something that you want to cook and make. But this is the back door and it's locked. Your key will not work for the back door. Um, you need an old key to get into the back door. So don't try that, because I did and it didn't work. So this has two twin size beds and again folk art but it looks like a nice little room has a desk and a closet so they have a TV in here so this is a nice little place then through this bedroom is a little hallway with a full-size bathroom which again would be great for guests in another room which has its own refrigerator and its own coffee machine and this looks like a day bed that has a trundle unit. A whole family could stay here in the Lewis house. Like this is a really great house, really close to the Williamsburg Inn. You got the whole house to yourselves, two full bathrooms, and people have privacy in their own bedrooms. So if you ever are in Colonial Williamsburg, the Lewis house is available to you. You can look great at the Colonial Williamsburg Inn. So this is a great view of the inn right there.
it's eight in the morning and you're thinking, where should we have breakfast? So you can always go to the Williamsburg Inn. Look at it, the short walk it is over there. They have a nice breakfast in there. We're actually gonna walk downtown. So we'll show you some places that you can actually eat downtown. But we stayed here last night. It was great. I did do some reading and that house right across the street from us is one of the most haunted houses in Colonial Williamsburg. So if you want to stay in a haunted house, the corner of Francis and Colonial across from the Lewis house would be the place for you to stay. <laughs> They mark trees here. If you're an arborist and you're interested in what kind of trees there are here in Colonial Williamsburg. One of the other things you might see as well is you'll see places that are offered the home and the kitchen. So in colonial times, kitchens were not built attached to homes because of the risk of fire. So when you can rent a home here, you can rent either the kitchen, which is made into like a smaller place now to stay, or the actual home. And even as you walk around, you're gonna notice colonial homes will be a little bit bigger, and then right beside them will be a smaller building, but usually they're kitchen. So you can hear right, our home was right at the end here, like right on Colonial and Duke of Gloucester. You're close to the Capitol building, and you're right down the road from the parish, Bruton Parish and the Colonial Green. So it's a perfect, perfect location. So we're in Merchant Square of Colonial Williamsburg, uh, Henry Street and Duke of Gloucester. And this is where you can come down and go to the residential shops. We love coming down here with the kids. We really go to the With candy store. Yes, like George With. The kids love it there, gummies and uh, chocolate covered everything. There's a Scottish store here. We really enjoy all um, sweaters and coats made of wool. They also have tartans. It's a really fun place to go. There's a Christmas store over here as well. All different types of Christmas ornaments. Very nice if you're looking for some kind of souvenir. And there's a really good City of Colonial Williamsburg store. They pretty much carry everything you'll find in the gift shops in Colonial Williamsburg all in one place. There's really nice wine bars and um, restaurants, but there's also like pizza shops and things like that. Thomas Jefferson, subscribe to Walk With History. Okay. So when you get the end of those merchant shops, the end of Duke of Gloucester, actually you're right at William and Mary College. So if you wanted to check out the school, one of the oldest schools in America from the 1600s, that building, the first building as you walk into William and Mary is the oldest building on campus. So it's right there. It opens up to the merchant streets. So you're not a far walk from there. William and Mary College. So this is the place we actually decided on to eat aromas and it's actually on Prince George Street which is one street over from uh, Duke Gloucester and Henry Street where those shops were. Uh, Boundary and Prince George but they have really great breakfast here like it's amazing and they make all kinds of things. Um, pancakes and well not pancakes but French toast and eggs and things like that. So that's where we're going to breakfast. We stayed at a property that is a part of the Colonial Williamsburg Inn, but you can also stay at the Colonial Williamsburg Inn. And we actually had dinner here, it was really great. But a lot of famous people have stayed here. Queen Elizabeth has stayed here. Winston Churchill has stayed here. Dwight D. Eisenhower, the president, has stayed here. People visit here. This is like the VIP place to go and visit.
So staying in the Lewis house in Colonial Williamsburg was like a historian's dream come true. It was everything I thought it was going to be and more. It was just so neat to experience living right here in the center of Colonial Williamsburg, being so close to everything. We were able to take in some really great live performances. We did the carriage ride and we just walked around and saw a lot of places that we hadn't been able to see before. So it was a really great time. Thank you, Colonial Williamsburg. It was a great experience and uh, we look forward to being back again. On to our next one.